Hey guys, welcome. I'm Parshvika. Welcome to the channel where we talk a lot about manifestation, relationship stuffs, self improvements, feminine energy stuff. In today's video, I want to talk about if you are, if you want to create something or you want to manifest something and you are manifesting something or a manifesting journey, you see the reverse things happening in the 3D. You see the things are totally opposite. You want your partner to propose you, but it's totally opposite is happening and you're like, what's happening? What should I do next? Am I doing it right or not? Is it coming or not? Is it going to happen or not? I'm going to talk about based on my own experience and I feel like it can be relatable to a lot of the people before you actually get what you want. Sometimes the things doesn't happen the way it looks to. I mean, before you receive your manifestation, you see the things totally opposite happening in the 3D. And you are like, what's going on? Am I on the right path or not? Should I need to do this and that? I'll just kind of talk. What do you need to do? Let's dive in. Give this video a big thumbs up. Do consider subscribing for more such videos. We have a female self-care planner and also some feminine energy course. The links are in the description if you're interested. Check it out. Anyways, so when you see the opposite things happening in your 3D reality, when you're manifesting literally anything and everything, what one thing you can understand is that there is the rebirth of you. Allow me to explain. When you want something, whether relationship, job, money, car, house, whatever you want, okay? The old version of you that doesn't have these things has to die and the new version has to come up. It's kind of like a rebirth. And there is a death of the old version of you and there is a birth of the new version of you. Because the old version of you who doesn't have the things that you want can't go with you in the future. Because that version doesn't have the things that you want, right? Makes sense. Because there are so many parallel version of us, so many parallel realities, so many different versions of we are, are having. Some versions of us already have what we want, some version of us doesn't have it. So the old version of you that doesn't have us, the old reality, it has to crumble, it has to die. And when the things die, there is like a sad time, a stressful time, a not so feeling good time. Maybe you feel angry, frustrated, sad, depressed, needy, like all the negative emotions come up. Like you can see when somebody die, especially in our close relative, we don't feel good. It's normal. It's normal when something is dying, you're not going to feel good. You're going to feel stressful because there is a gap going to happen in your life because that old thing is dying. Old version of you is dying. So at that time, you're going to feel sad, you're going to feel depressed, you're going to feel lost. It's totally normal and totally okay. And sometimes due to that old version, you're going to see the opposite things happening in the 3D. Some people call it as a purge. Like there are so many different terms the people use to describe this event. But I can say it's happened because... Um, because there is a dying of the old version of you and the rebirth of the new version. So the old has to die, then only the new things come up. It's like decluttering your wardrobe. You have to throw away the old things to make the space for the new things to come in your life. Likewise, the old version has to die so that it makes the space for the new version that already has what you want come in your life right so the old version has to crumble down, it has to go, and oftentimes when the old version dies. There is an ego part of you which is, which feels more comfortable, more supportive, more happy with the old version because it looks so familiar, because it's so comfortable and the ego loves comfortable because ego job is to protect your body. That's what the ego is doing. So when something new is happening, when the old version of you are dying, the ego is like, what's happening? It's not normal. It's bad. And due to that ego moment, due to that ego stuff, the things happen in the 3D that are the opposite of what you want because the ego is like so powerful. Oftentimes people ignore the ego, but don't ignore the ego power. E ego has the power because you give it the power. You give the old version of you the power because you live in that old reality for a long time or for some amount of time you live in that old reality it was a familiar for you it was more comfortable for you because you know that it was certain now this is the new version is totally uncertain totally unfamiliar you're not gonna know when it's gonna happen how it's gonna happen it's totally new it's unfamiliar so it's not supportive it can be hurtful and that's why the ego is like, go back to the old version, go back to the old version. That's why you see that in your 3D reality, the things are happening is totally opposite because ego is telling you, hey, this thing that you want, the new thing that you want is not happening. It's not coming. It's taking so much time. 
go back to your old version and that's why you see the opposite results because if the results were positive why would you go back to the old version right this is a time when people gave up that's why the majority of people never reach their dreams because they give up before their dream is actually come into the fruition because for new things to happen there is a birth there is a born not just to giving birth to a baby you're giving birth to your dreams giving birth to a new relationship job money home car whatever it is okay and in that rebirth there is a labor pain like when a pregnant lady gives birth to a baby there is a labor pain right you feel the pain because the old version of you is dying and the baby is coming out from the body like new thing is coming so that's the same thing is happening with you the old version is dying so there is a sadness feeling low all that negative emotions and the ego is trying to tell you hey go back to the old version because that's familiar that's more comfortable that is more safe go back to that and you're like no i'm not going to go back to that old version because i know that's not going to help me get what i want because that old version doesn't have the things that i want i have to go and stick to with my new version so that's why for some time being it may happen it may not be happening because the manifestation process is natural it's uh, kind of like a spontaneous by the nature it may seems to you that it is taking a long time but then when you connect the dot it's not taking you the long time because all the things are arranging the universe is arranging all the things for you in the background which you can't even see right now because you are in the process of manifestation so that's why the ego is like come back and at that time it gives you the opposite manifestation the opposite things are happening and you are doubting you're like what if this is coming or not and this is a time that you should never never give up because this is the time your manifestation is coming very very close the old version is on the verge of its dying when you see so much negative the extreme negative that you couldn't even imagine that's happening that's a great news that's a great news because the old version is crumbling it's crumbling total crumbling the tower is crumbling and that's why it creates a lot of the noise lot of sadness negativity opposite manifestation opposite things happening in the 3d and at the time you just persist in your new belief in your new version you just persist by knowing that this is crumbling down and soon it's going to be replaced by the new things or the things that i want or the things that i'm manifesting so you just persist because you know that when this thing happens it is a sign that your manifestation is coming it's a sign that it's very very close you're very very close don't give up at this time just persist in your affirmation pers persist in whatever manifestation techniques you're doing persist in your new identity because that's going to help you pass through that phase and soon get the reward of you getting your manifestation so hopefully i have cleared this thing because it's kind of like a little bit confusing because i personally gone through a lot of the times when i was manifesting i gone through so much negative things before actually the positive happens and in the beginning when i was in the manifestation phase it was totally new so i couldn't understand but now i can relate that why it happened and so many coaches so many people talk about this thing as a purge or they may not be talking they just say persist ignore the 3d that's why they say that but th this is the reason that it happens and that's okay So hopefully you get something out of it. Let me know what you think about your comments and questions in the comment section below. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'll see you the next time. Do you want to take care? Bye guys.